Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The NumPy library in Python is widely used for numerical computations and provides a powerful array object. One common operation is appending arrays, which can be done using the numpy.append function. Hashtag 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 tutorial on numpy.append. Hashtag 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 what is numpy.append? The numpy.append function is used to append values to the end of an array. It is important to note that this function does not modify the original array but returns a new array with the appended values. Hashtag 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 syntax. ARR, the input array to which values will be appended. Values, the values to be appended. These can be a single value, a list, or another array. Axis, the axis along which values are appended. If not specified, the input array is flattened. Hashtag 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 important points. One flattening, if the axis is not specified, the input array is flattened first. Two shape compatibility, when appending along a specific axis, the shape of the values must match the shape of the ARR along that axis. Hashtag 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 example code. Here's an example to illustrate how numpy.append works. Hashtag 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 output. This code will produce the following output. Hashtag 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 conclusion. The numpy.append function is a useful tool when working with arrays in Python. It allows you to easily append values or rows slash columns to existing arrays. Remember that the original array remains unchanged, a new array is returned instead. This can be particularly useful when dynamically building arrays, but keep in mind that frequent appending can be inefficient, as it may lead to the creation of many intermediate arrays. For large data sets, consider using data structures like lists or pre-allocating arrays when possible.